So think about the beliefs that you have. As an example, what beliefs do you hold about yourself, maybe, or about other people, or about certain circumstances or situations that are now becoming your truth and think about what you say about them. So let me give you some examples. Okay, let's think of a belief that you've held on to that actually isn't really the truth. Maybe that belief is that I'm not good enough. That's something you hear a lot of people say. I'm not good enough or I'm not deserving of. Maybe it's um, a promotion, it's a pay rise or of recognition, of acknowledgement. Maybe it's more in the personal aspect of your life. Maybe I'm not deserving or I'm good enough to have a good relationship or to be healthier or to earn more money because I'm not deserving or I'm just not as good as other people around me. Think about the beliefs that you have about yourself. So a belief about a situation could be, and this is something I'm sharing because I remember um, a couple of colleagues used to say it quite often. It was like, oh, but it's going to be the same in every company you go to. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And it's all complaining about all the things they're not happy with that don't work for them, that bring them down, um, that make them frustrated. And I think, well, what's the point of moving? Because it's going to be the same everywhere you go. And here's the thing. That is not true. That is an example of a belief that we have created because of an, an experience that we've had. And we do this all the time. We have experiences and we take from that experience our learning, but also what we do is we create stories through those experiences. And then those stories become our beliefs and the beliefs become our truth.